about three to four inches across. And there were, it was like one piece of wire, but looped in three loops. Weird. Mysterious. Kind of uh, like a clover leaf shape. Kind of like that. Kind of like a three leaf clover. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, there, did I mention there were fragments of human bone found in there? Too? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why we were talking about the human bone. Yeah. And yeah, the cremators. Yeah. yeah. Pulverizing okay. your bones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's so, some guy with a ball peen hammer. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they do it. They just have. They just take up the parking lot. And, <laughs> uh, no. They oh, they don't do that? They do it. <laughs> yeah. No, they actually you think have. They it's kind of messy. <laughs> no, they have something equivalent to the 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 ninja bullet juicer that you have in your home on a wow. much bigger scale that they shove those big chunks into to, oh, to break them up. You would okay. think they would just do two big plates. That would work. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, sorry. So we're Actually, yeah, you can take them to the We're dump. a little off track. Though. Oh yeah, so, we are totally off track. Uh, yeah, did, okay. did the cops get called at this point? Of course, yeah, the police were called. The police weren't called before they cooled it down though. Uh, I think they were called actually right away. Okay. So, but, but of course, right. there wasn't uh, there wasn't much they could do. When Harry got to work the next day, right. and yeah. didn't find Sally. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if they called him right away. They might have actually just had a company only search around that around, and then eventually when they couldn't find him, and they discovered there was a possibility that somebody had died in a mishap. Then they called the police. That's smart, I guess. Yeah. And a local deputy sheriff, uh, his name was Victor Corelli, said that of the keys that were found, one of them was to Dave's car, another one they believe was to his house. Uh, but they couldn't tell for sure because it was bad and, and damaged, and so they couldn't really confirm that. Uh, and then apparently three other ones went to padlocks, and that's about all they know about the keys. And the keys caused a little bit of consternation for Harry Easterling because mm, he'd yeah, seen Dave's keys. Yeah, a little odd, don't you think? Because we just heard that he saw the the padlock unlocked on top of... Yeah, with the keys in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so, and so that he'd seen them uh, on the morning of the 19th, Two hours after 5.15, when the temperature dropped in the furnace, Harry had seen them on the toolbox. And then, like, when the next he day, clocked out. Yeah, and then the next day, when he comes back to work, they're still there, sitting on the toolbox. And yet, but, three days later, they're found in the furnace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is a little strange. That is a little strange. Yeah, I think so. I agree. Yeah. Uh, at this point, so what the authorities knew that was that Dave Box was missing. They also knew there was evidence that somebody had wound up in a furnace in Plant 6. Something had ended up. They didn't know at that point. Is this yeah. the initial or after they'd cooled the thing off? This is like after they cooled it off. Okay. And after they cooled it off and pulled stuff out of it. Okay, yeah, got it, got it. I thought you were saying when they initially showed up. Yeah, it was, but there was evidence that there was somebody in that furnace. Uh, beyond that, they really didn't know much. So the local coroner's office wouldn't sign a death certificate because there was a lack of evidence that David died. The sheriff's department was treating it essentially as a missing person case, and they mm-hmm. kept the file open. Uh, but everybody kind of believed that Dave had died in the furnace of Plant 6. The question was, well, how and why? Was it an accident? Did Dave commit suicide? Or was he perhaps murdered? Mm. Yeah. Members of Dave's family have said they're sure it was not suicide. Of course, they often do. Uh, but his daughter said that David bought groceries for the week. He paid all his bills. He's planning a vacation with his kids. Casey, but, that's her name, right? Yeah, Casey, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, on the other hand, Dave apparently there did have some issues. Apparently around the time of his divorce, he did attempt suicide. And I'm not, I'm not sure how serious an attempt we're talking about here, but apparently... I was going to ask that. Well, if yeah. If there's any record of, you know, did he shoot a gun and barely miss himself or did he do the cry for attention yeah take attempt. some pills take, the, take some pills and call or badly scratch himself with yeah. a with a safety razor on the wrist yeah. kind of you know there's there's a whole there's a full spectrum a, yeah. not that i'm belittling the act of trying to take your life but there is a spectrum and we don't know where he falls in that yeah some people are a little more hardcore about it a little more determined to get the job done um but i don't know uh and that, but as for the murder theory and and the family does think that it was probably murder. Uh, there's no one really with any motive. Dave was a nice guy, apparently had no enemies. Uh, except, of course, as I mentioned previously, the Fernald plant did have some issues with environmental quality. And so Dave's family has suggested that perhaps he was going to talk to somebody, perhaps the press, uh, about the situation and maybe be a whistleblower to shut him up. And so, so we have essentially three theories. I'm going to throw a fourth one in there too later on, but uh, some fun ones. Uh, well, not really fun, no. but you know. Uh, That's a weird application yeah. of the word, but yeah, I'll accept I accept it because so. we do it all the time. All yeah. right, it's morbid, but yeah. Uh, Morbidly fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, our first theory is it was an accident. 
they fell into that furnace. I, I think personally this is kind of unlikely, but uh, you know, it is considered to be a possibility. Can I can I ask a question before we get too far into the theories? Yeah. Okay, I'll pull my hand down. Um, all of our theories are saying that it's Dave's remains or whatever was pulled out of that furnace was Dave. Most of our theories are saying that, yeah. Most. Okay. Yeah, okay, so what we're talking about until you say otherwise is the remains that, or the things that were pulled out of the furnace were Dave. Yeah, it was okay. Dave. Dave. I just want Dave to clarify was in the that. Furnace. Yeah, so, yeah. His keys were there. Yeah, his keys were there, oh, and, and parts of the remains of his work boots were apparently there, and his Maybe. glasses, mm -hmm. yeah, or somebody. All right, so as far as the accident one goes, uh, nobody, as far as I know, had actually fallen into one of these furnaces before, and I, I tried to find on the web exactly what the make and model of the furnace was, and so I could see a picture of it, or at least a drawing, a diagram, something. Mm -hmm. Had no luck. Uh, the most specific information I could find was in the court document that referred to it as a, quote, Nusal Vat, that's N-U-S-A-L, Vat, unquote. Um, and I looked for, I searched on the web for that, but got zip. Have so you, that's about it. Have you ever looked at uh, the imagery from uh, steel refineries? Yeah. So they, they tend to either be a long, hot trough, uh -huh. Or they're more of drum is not the word, but it's a giant bucket of hot liquid, uh -huh. so that it can then be moved and poured into a form. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two shapes that I've ever seen. I mean, then again, I'm ignoring whatever was on Unsolved Mysteries because it uh, really looked like what they had was made out of storage containers. I whatever they had in that in that video sure looked nothing like our. Yeah, but, I did but, find I did find a picture of a top loading similar kind of furnace on mm -hmm. the web, an old picture and an old manual. Okay, and it looked nothing like what they had on there. Right, but was all. it like a, a big square hot a, a pit of turn of some kind sort? Of, but it had. It had like a bunch of apparatus around the top because a lot of these were top loading furnaces and um, you pour so, the, the unheated material into in the case, opening at the top. Yeah, but in this case they would put uh, they would put ingots in there and they would pull ingots out. Nothing got poured really because they would pull them out and they hadn't melted they, and they would they could just shape them. I think they softened them enough that they, that they were easier to shape. So it'd be more like the yeah. kind of ovens they use for um, like glass blowing or stuff, something mm -hmm. like that maybe. Yeah, and so as far as I know, they were top loading, but I don't know 100 percent for sure. They could have been. They could have been front loading. But one would presume that there was some sort of guardrail or really? I, to I'm keep at I'm least the people a, a, who are putting no. those things in. Yeah, oh yeah. I was I was thinking maybe a velvet rope. I was thinking a yeah. velvet rope. Yeah. I think so. I, I think a velvet rope. Yeah, yeah, they had a velvet rope around it with a little sign. That said, <laughs> because yeah. that's safe. Yeah. Um, it keeps me safe at the movie theater. It keeps the tourists out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or wait, what are the one? But what are the the little zippy ones they use at the airport? Oh yeah, yeah. For the things. DSA lines, because nobody gets through those. We call exactly. those stanchions. Stanchions, that works, yeah. Uh, Dave, I think, was a pretty safety-oriented guy, though, and I, I'm sure they had something more serious than that to keep people from wandering over and just stumbling in. Yeah. And I, let's face it, you know, you don't need to have a lot of brains just to not be falling into a you know, 1200 degree molten salt mm -hmm. furnace. Yeah. Right? There's no horseplay on <laughs> yeah, the end of the pool. No. And you can tell. You, you can, no running. It's not like you can sort of accidentally back up and fall in either. You're going to feel that heat, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to be feeling it. And so. Um, I think even an amoeba would have been smart enough to not fall I into agree. the furnace. Yeah. So I grew up in an area in southern Oregon, and there was, uh, I think it was, oh, I can't remember the name of the place, but they, they dealt with nickel, and so they were heating nickel and doing all of these things. And unless you were just in the general vicinity, you were okay. But when you had to be around any of the burners or the the the, hev the super hot, like these kind of thousand plus degree areas, uh -huh. you were required to put on one of those nice, fancy, shiny metal reflective heat suits. I would think so, yeah. So I can't imagine that they would just let the maintenance guy just walk up and, you know, start messing around with something. Well, he, he would have to be appropriately attired. But yeah. he also wasn't even supposed to be in, in plant, plant six. six. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was supposed to be in, in plant eight and then later on in plant four. four. But yeah, so what was he doing? Maybe he was just wandering by, he saw a door jar, I thought, huh, I'll go check it and see what's going on there. Yeah. Yeah, and then he went in. That seems wrong. Yeah. I don't like this theory. I, yeah, I, I, I find it kind of hard to believe that this was an accident. I really do. Uh, so I got to give this one a fail.
Agreed. Do you like that, Steve? Well, okay. I don't know. You know, people take Epsom salt baths and they say it makes yeah. them feel better. So he was like, it was a salt bath. So yeah. No, I, Maybe I, I really think this is a terrible theory. Yeah, my feet feel crappy. I'm going to go stick my feet in there. <laughs> 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 whoops. Ah! Uh, whoops. Yeah. Okay, our next theory. Uh, this now one, they call me Stumpy. Yeah. I. Uh, uh, so our next theory is du- suicide. I almost said <laughs> suicide, but not suicide. Apparently, as I mentioned before, Dave had had some issues with depression. Uh, and, of course, as we said, he attempted suicide not uh, just a few years previously during his divorce. And so throwing yourself into a molten salt vat would definitely solve your problem if you wanted to kill yourself. It I mean, would be a pretty horrible way to go, though. It would be pretty awful. I um, mean, we all saw Terminator. We yeah. saw how long it took Arnold. Yeah, yeah, but he was a Terminator. I think a human being, it would be like a little quicker. Hopefully. Uh, I would think so as well, but yeah, it would still be. not fun you know, for the no. little bit of time that it Oh, didn't. good lord, yeah. I couldn't imagine that. Not that there's a good be. way to kill yourself, but that is not the good way to kill yourself. Yeah, no, it, well, you never know. It might be super quick. It might be that your nerve endings are shocked and they just stop working and that you go into, you go into shock right away. Uh, if, I hope. If, if it were not 1984, we could look at Dave's computer and see if he did web searches on topics like, quote, how long does it take you to, to die if you throw yourself in the hole and solve That would definitely settle yeah, the question. Yeah, that would help a lot, but we yeah. can't do that. No web search is available. And I don't know, I, there's no record that he asked anybody. Say, so say, if you throw into that, how long do you think it would take you to die? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I, I would think it would be over really quickly, but I still would rather just shoot myself personally. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I think I a would. whole bunch of other ways. Where people would pick even more hideous ways to kill themselves than this. I mean, people like soak themselves in gasoline and light themselves on fire. And who's that guy who you know has tied the the rope around his neck and then accelerated the car? That was oh yeah, the Corvette. Oh, oh yeah. Definitely kill himself that way. That'll do it. But yeah, yeah that was uh, Britain. Yeah. Yeah. Britain. Yes. Yeah, so there's there, there's worse ways, I guess, but it just it doesn't sound quite right to me. Uh, and on the other side of things, uh, uh, people have noticed that Dave had just bought a new lunchbox. So, I mean, you know, if you're going to kill yourself... If that's a sign of stability, what isn't? I know, exactly. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, he was planning for the future if he bought a new lunchbox, right? We did uh, We did actually get this feedback a little bit when we did the mortgage cube crash, though. Uh-huh. Because we talked about evidence of him having, you know, cash for a new car in his pocket. Yeah, he was going to go get something for his daughter. Yeah and, yeah, and there were a lot of people who kind of came out and said, you know... In, you know, in their understanding of people who commit suicide, oftentimes it's not like you wake up and say, yep, today is the day I'm going to kill myself. Uh-huh. It just, I mean... Spur you of just, the moment. You just are like, oh, yeah, that, here we go. Uh, yeah, um, maybe you've sort of been toying with the idea for a while, and it's one day for one reason or another. Right. Everything just kind of gels. You say, okay, now's the time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Could maybe be. something bad had happened with his supervisor, and he thought he was yeah. going to lose his job, and thought, oh, I'll just... Jump into that pool instead of. It could be. There were. This. I mean, yeah. you know, just by providence of planning for the future doesn't necessarily mean that he wasn't planning on committing suicide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's good. But point. I also agree. I don't think that he did. But hey. Yeah. Well, I mean, who knows? Uh, yeah. And there were some other stuff. His daughter, of course, said they were planning a vacation at some point. He'd paid all those bills and bought all the groceries and stuff. And. Uh, that, yeah, again, as we said, it doesn't really mean much. I mean, if you could look at somebody as, as buying groceries for the family and paying all the bills, it's sort of cleaning up all the loose ends. Yeah. You know, before he kills himself. Easily, yeah. Yeah, planning a vacation doesn't really mean much. I mean, that's, that could, I don't know if that means serious planning or if you're just sort of vague, vaguely talking about going to Disneyland or something, you know, yeah. it's just, we all talk about stuff like that. I mean, sometime you, in the future conversations. Hell, we've been planning on a European trip to solve mysteries in Europe for how long now? Four years. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Still yeah. not happening. <laughs> yeah, still, yeah, no closer to actually. I mean, happening. still hasn't happened. No, not likely. It might happen. Who knows? As as no, because you're going to try and kill me. As soon as somebody steps up and pays it. <laughs> okay, pays for it. Yeah. Uh, there would be one reason to do it, I can think of. You know, I would rather, again, go out in the woods with a shotgun and take care of business. But on the other hand, there would be opportunities at the plant at Fernald. Uh, some lots of opportunities. And plus, if Dave had made it look like an accident, then he would leave his family a really nice opening for a lawsuit. True. So, and, and workers comp and all kinds of stuff. But at the same time, Dave doesn't seem to have gone out of his way to make it look like an accident. You know, I, uh, why, I know we've said this before, why go into that furnace? That place was known to be full of very corrosive acids oh. to the point that they had a... Um, what is? I suddenly cannot think of the name of the guy who replaces soles on shoes. Cobbler. Cobbler. Thank yeah. you. 
They had somebody on site who fixed shoes for the employees because there was so much acid on the ground. It ate through sh- their work boots at an obscene rate. Uh-huh. So they did this for people. Like, okay, why why did he do that versus going and finding one of the giant vats of acid well, and uh-huh. jumping into that thing? In fairness, though, if you jumped into a vat of corrosive acid, it's unlikely that any part of you will be found, right? Mm, that's true. Versus if he knew the science of this thing, although more of his bones should have been found if it was his entire skeleton. Well, here's the deal, though, is that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going on a limb here, I don't know the exact compound that they use of salt, but okay, as we all know, salt at room temperature is solid, and it might well be by the time they cooled it down enough to where they could actually get into it search it, it might have solidified. Yeah, that's true. And so maybe they had to sort of chip through everything. And, yeah, that's fair. And, and they the broke process. things up without, or didn't break things up enough to find the smaller fragments, maybe. Yeah, they might not have yeah. considered it worthwhile. Once they had some bones, that, that might have been enough. Yeah, they didn't feel yeah. like they needed to like chip through the entire thing and try to extract every single bone, which, by the way, they weren't going to do without breaking them all up anyway, because mm-hmm. by the time they've been heated that much, they're going to be pretty fragile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. so I, but I guess to your point of you know finding the super corrosive acid like if you want it to look like a, an accident you still have to leave some evidence got, of yeah. the accident yeah right? but you still you still think he would have like you know put like a say a banana peel on the top of the thing. or something yeah right? something to make well, it look but, like i mean okay but, but in in looking forward at the next theory if what we're going to talk about after we finish this up was what happened, then why did they throw him in something that would leave materials rather than throwing him in something that would completely destroy him? Well, we'll talk about it when we get to that theory, there, though, but yeah. I just want to bring that up now so that we don't forget to talk about it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, I, yeah, I don't know, but, but back to the suicide thing, uh, if he was going to make it look like suicide versus an accident, well, you think he would have taken off his hard hat and his glasses at least. What? Yeah, maybe not, but you know, well, the, not I mean, a requirement. If, you, if you're gonna commit suicide, yeah, you don't give a rip. Yeah. I don't care that I'm wearing all my work gear. I'm just gonna take the gonna plunge. Just go plunge. Yeah, maybe. And if it's gonna be an accident, if you're gonna stage an accident, no investigator says, "Oh, weird. He took off his gloves and his hat and his glasses and then stumbled in like that." Mm-hmm. That that series of events wouldn't make sense to me. Yeah. I would agree with it would make more yeah. sense that he had an accident and fell in with all of his gear. But he should have done something. He should have left a, like a rope or a piece of cable right there for him, for him to trip over or something. Or that, that, that this cardboard, the sign you see swinging on the end of the rope in the Looney Tunes the uh, cartoons. He yeah. should have just unhitched yeah. the velvet rope a little yeah. bit so it looked like, you know. It looked like it had been blown over a little yeah. bit yeah. so it looked like somebody had stumbled over it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know about this one. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, about suicide, you mean? Yeah. yeah. No, this whole suicide theory it's more is, plausible than an accident, but less plausible is. than some other scheme. Yeah, it is. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like it's, it's entirely. Po- I mean, it's entirely plausible to me, but again, there's not really any evidence for it. But yeah. Then again, okay, let's look at, give that one a maybe and move on to our next theory, which of course is murder. Da da da. Uh, nah, murder, everybody's favorite. So again, assuming that that was Dave's. You know, remains that were found in there, not that much was found. Uh, Co workers or somebody at the company because he was a whistleblower. What was he blowing whistles on? Uh, on, on, on either national lead uh, or the plant itself. I mean, uh, because again, national lead was running it, but they didn't actually own it, so maybe he was ratting out national lead. You got oh, okay. ratting out. Joe, Joe, can you, for people who aren't familiar with the, the term whistleblower, can you yeah. explain that for folks? Because not everybody yeah. knows that. Somebody who sees wrongdoing uh, at your company or, or within the government or whatever and reports it to the authorities or, or maybe reports it to the press, that kind of thing, they're called whistleblowers. Also, you know, one man's whist- whistleblower, of course, is one man, and it is another man's just plain leaker. Right. It just all depends. A lot of people, people leak constantly. Julian Assange. Yeah, that kind of thing. When you, when you leak, uh, you know, a lot of people leak for their own personal reasons, and then sometimes people will leak, and then when they get busted, they'll try to call themselves a whistleblower. Like mm-hmm. that chick at the NSA who recently gave some documents to the press, and then she got busted for it, and, uh, and then she tried to claim, oh, no, I was a whistleblower. No, really not. Uh, isn't, uh, is it Karen Silkwood? Isn't she considered, I mean, her death is mysterious, and that's a whole other thing, and yeah. that's why the murder thing made me think of it, but isn't she considered a bit of a whistleblower? 
Yeah, I don't, I, you know. I, she was in a nuclear reactor facility. She was in a, a nuclear facility. I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long since I read anything about that. Or you and me both. Or anything. I can't you? remember if she actually ever actually did any actual whistleblowing or if she just died. And well, she was supposed to. She was supposed to give statements. I remember that, but I yeah. 